Alfie, go on your bed. Lie down. Good boy. Good boy. Lie down. Come on. Lie down. Don't work with children and animals, eh? Hi everyone, welcome back to Raptors Garage, and as you can tell, not in the garage, in the kitchen. Now, um, we're all on lockdown and can't do a lot, so I thought what I'd do is do a little bit of an unboxing video, uh, basically just to fill my time up because I'm a bit bored at the moment. Um, so I thought I'd open some of the boxes that we've had uh, sent to us from different places, and this one's from Forby, from Neil actually. And this is the USB... Um, like USB charger unit that goes in your centre console. Now, in a 300 TDI, um, at the back of the centre console, you've got an ashtray. Well, this replaces the ashtray, and this is going to be really useful for us because that's actually where I put my camera batteries now in the truck to charge. Um, it'll actually be really good for my drone batteries. So I've had a look at it and thought, I can actually, because I've got a, um, a USB charger for my drone batteries, I can actually put them in there, leave them, leave them and actually watch when they fill up. Because you know drone batteries are a bit temperamental, so it'll be absolutely brilliant for that. But uh, what you get in the box when you actually get it is, the first thing is a QR code. Now that's got your instructions. There's a couple of screws in there for assembly, but it says this is your instructions. Get the QR code and uh, read it, and that'll give you all your instructions that you need. That's really good. Neil spends a lot of time getting them right. You get the USB um, charger, that's like the face plate. You get some wire. You get two of the USB chargers. These are exactly the same. They look to be exactly the same charges as you get in the um, the clock. We've already fitted one of them and they, these look to be the same units so uh, they seem to be fairly reliable. So, oh, I, I actually thought there was four, there's actually eight. So there's four in each. Right, so you get eight USB chargers. You get the uh, Haribo, which is brilliant. You get a sticker for your truck. You get a card. I've now got hundreds of these. They're everywhere. Uh, and you get cable tie for assembly. So that's everything you get in the box. But like I say, first thing you do, get the QR, get the QR code, which is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to have a look at the instructions while I pull my truck out. Uh, and we're going to fit that. Oh, before I forget, it's like the new shirts. These are the new shirts you can get on our uh, on our shop. These are the Raptors Garage shirts. If you want a shirt, go over there, grab yourself a shirt. That would help us out immensely. But right, I'm going to pull my truck out. And just before I go and pull my truck out, have a look at that. He's been asleep all night, and he's that, he's woken up that tired. He's got to go back bed. And he bought all these toys. And he's on bed. Yeah, you. I'm talking about you. Well, I've just pulled the truck out of the garage, but before we go out to the truck, I'm going to assemble this. Now, before I said you could pull up the information on your phone with the QR code, you can. You can also just pull it up from Forby's website as well, which is what I've done. I've just put it on the laptop here. So I've got all the instructions in front of me. Uh, what's in the pack, what you need to assemble it, you need Allen key, set of side cutters, so set of wire cutters, I bought some side cutters as well, some Allen keys, 
screwdriver, tape measure, and a knife. So uh, that's what they say you need to do it. Tape measure or rule, whatever. But uh, it's really simple. Um, get screws out, which are over there. Still got the screws here. Get the screws out. You want that bit to start with. I'm not going to actually show you how to assemble this guys because these instructions are so simple. So I'm just going to assemble it. I'll leave the camera running while I do it. But yeah, the... Uh, The actual assembly is so easy. Should we put it in the right way round? That would help. These just snap into place according to this. These instructions are great. They are really simple. If I can follow them, they're simple. Well, I'm simple, so. If you can cut four wires and do two screws, you can assemble those. While you're doing this, don't over tighten these. They, uh, you will strip the thread out. They only need to be nipped up, they're not going to go anywhere. Yep. So that's the first part of the assembly is all done. So all you're really doing on this is putting that allen key into that piece of threaded uh, housing there and then what you're going to do is just do the same on the other side and it's just a repeat on the other side like I thought this one's going to be a bit more awkward because you can't get the allen key all the way through because you've got both of the boards are in yeah, this one's just going to take a while. Yeah, it's one of them. There is no quick way of doing this. You've just got to go with it. Some time has elapsed. And I've got that done. That's actually not difficult. It just gives you cramp. Because you can only move it so far. It's just fiddly. That's all. just takes a little bit of time. So you've got both of the boards are now fastened into that via the little allen key in both sides. So we're nearly done. We've now just got to connect a wire from there, through there, up there, into that side and a wire coming out and that's it, we're done. It's so simple. Then we just go and put it in the truck. Right, now we've got that done. The next thing we want is 20 mil of wire, 200 mil of wire. 20 mil, 20 centimeters, there we go. 200 mil. Yeah, the instruction is really good. It tells you how much of this to cut off and how much of this you need to strip. 5 mil, which is about what that is. 20 mil of that, which is pretty much what that is. Yeah, we've got a nice, nice piece of cable. There's a large notch this side. It says start wiring on this side, go through there, you put the zip tie through there to hold that in place and then you go up to that one. So we're just going to break, basically wire the two together. What's that bit done? Right, so now what we're going to do is just do the same on the other side. So exactly the same wiring on this side as it is that side. Red wire closest to the jack plug. Finagle the other wire into there, and you should end up with something that looks very much like that. Right, we've pretty much done all the old bit now. We've we've uh, ended up with that. So the next bit is to put this cable in place. The cable goes into the two smaller slots on the other side. The cable goes into that slot across the, the two little slots across the top. Makes it really neat. Keeps it out of the way. Because this centerpiece here, if you want to, you can add um, like another uh, USB cigarette charging plug. That's not USB, is it? No, cigarette charging plug. That's the one. But uh, that's what you should end up with. 
So we've got one more cable to go now. I'm quite impressed with myself, it actually looks like the, uh, the picture on the diagram, so must be getting something right. The remainder of the cable, so we need that bit. Strip it the same as we did before, that's easy. We're going to put the, the red one into the red, the black one into the black, and then we're going to use the zip tie to secure this in place. I think I'm going to find a lot of use for this. Like I said, it's going to be really good for charging the drone batteries, because uh, I can just put them behind my seat in the truck and charge from there. Check the wires are secure. Pull the excess cable out of the way. So that's what you're going to end up with. All I'm going to do is pull the zip tie through, tie it off, snip the end off, job done. That is ready for wiring in, so let's go and put this in the truck. We have one of those now. Let's go and get that in the truck. Right, well we're out at the truck now, and uh, I've just whipped the seats out because it's going to be easier to work on. Because uh, I've got no back doors anymore, I actually can't get in to do this, so I've just pulled the seats out. So first thing we need to do is I'm just going to pull this uh, centre console out. It should be dead easy. As far as I can remember it's like two screws in there and there's a couple up at the front. So um, and it just slides out. So I'll get that out. Oh, you have to take the switches out as well. But uh, basically we're going to be fitting that unit back here where the cigarette light, uh, not cigarette lighter, but the cigarette um, ashtray is. But uh, yeah, so let's get this out. I'll go and get some tools and we'll whip this part centre console out. First thing I'm going to do is to take this lower carrier off where the ashtray actually is. Because that's really the only bit we need to take off. And there's just four screws that hold that. Basically what I'm doing for is uh, take this off and then I'm looking for a power supply. Ideally, I want to get to the cigarette lighter. Unless I can find another power supply. But that is where we're going to be putting the new unit. Because that just comes out. And I'll show you that in a minute. And we'll look for a power supply. Mm. I have the world of disconnected wires under there. Because I had all the wire, didn't like the rear door switches and stuff. So I'm just going to stick my meter in there because I might be able to just piggyback a, uh, a live off something else. But uh, ideally, I want to get to this cigarette lighter. Let's pull this out anyway. Ah, while well, I was at it, I just whipped the centre console out. It was quicker than messing around looking for a power supply. I know I've definitely got one there uh, that I can rob off the cigarette lighter. I needed to put the light back in because I had fell out of the cigarette lighter. Not that I actually use it for a cigarette lighter, I use it for powering the uh, sat nav. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to just check these other ones, see if I've got any lives hiding around in there. I could do with giving that hoover out at the same time. In fact, I could do with the, the whole truck could do with a bit of hoovering out. So uh, while I look at that. I'm going to see what I can rob a power supply off. It's amazing how much crap has accumulated under here with, the, you know, with cutting the roof off twice. That's right, I know I've got 12 volts there. Let me have a look if I've got 12 volts back here from the wiring that I no longer need. So that's 12 volt ignition. That's weird. I would have thought one of those would have been a, add power in it. Oh, that's a crappy set of tethers, or none of those have got power in it. Now, there's going to be plenty of juice in that one because that's going to be powering the one of the rear windows. Now, is that permanent or ignition? Yeah, that's an ignition. Right, well, we can rob, we can piggyback off that because we haven't got any rear windows anymore. So. Either of those two, they'll be the same power fight I figured I would have thought. Right, so we can put all that back in and we can go straight off one of those. 
at least I've cleaned it up under here. So, and I get to put that back in. I need to repair that as well. Right, let's put all this back together and we know where we're getting the power from now. And I get to tidy all this up at the same time. And fitting this uh, new unit couldn't be any easier. Knock the ashtray out. Check if there's any money in it. No, there isn't. What's new? And pop your new unit in. That's it. It's as simple as that. And you should end up with something that looks like that. What's this? I said I can put loads of multiple USB chargers on that now. And I found a power supply which is uh, one of the old window motor power, uh, power supplies. So that's going to have plenty of power coming through it because they're big thick cables. So they're like 30 amp, at least 20 for the rear windows. So that's going to be more than enough for that. So I'm just going to put a couple of connectors on that. Just put a couple of connectors on that end. I'll leave the cable uh, that length. And I'll just plug this in, put it back in, I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. Right, I'll see if it charges my phone. Hey, it's working. It's charging my phone. Cool. So that's on an ignition live. So it's only on when the engine's running. tape around those just to keep them in place and that's it we're done four screws and put the seats back in uh, just a little look of what it looks like when it's in at the back it's very difficult to film when you've got no rear doors or seats but uh, yeah that's what you're gonna end up with so that's cool and if you want to put another power supply in it you can put a cigarette lighter plug in the middle of that, it's already designed to take one. So that's cool. So we're at the end of this video. Well that's it guys, all done, in, working. That is a brilliant upgrade. Um, if you've got a 300, you know, if you've got an old disco like this, that is well worth having. Big thanks to Neil for sending it to us from Forby. Um, go over and check uh, Forby's website out there, I've got loads of stuff, not just stuff for 300 uh, discos, they've got it for Defenders and all sorts of stuff, go and check out their shop, it's well worth uh, a look, they've got stuff for overlanding, tools, you name it, there's everything on there, you can spend hours just browsing through their website. And while you're browsing through their website, go over to ours and uh, have a look what we've got, we've got these nice new shirts, these look cool, uh, and we've got the stickers over there so you know go and check that out get yourself some stickers to help us out anyway but thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you on the next one